Concordia track and field coach Jim Brewer going to wrap up his second full season here. The track and field season just came to an end out in Marion, Indiana. Coach a number of uh, All-Americans, some distance runners, a javelin thrower, some steeple. Just uh, how was the, uh, the Marion trip and how did your, uh, your athletes compete out there? Well, we had a great time. Our athletes really stepped up and performed well. It's exciting to see, obviously, with Zach having the highest placing uh, of our All-Americans placing third in the javelin was, was great. Coach Pops did a really good job with him, and, and he's been working hard. But um, we had some athletes that, uh, for example, we had one young lady that honestly was going in ranked uh, last at Nationals, and um, she had a huge PR in the 800 and improved almost two seconds again uh, in, uh, in the eight, running a, a 213, or no, um, yeah, 213. And uh, it was, I mean, she was within uh, two hundredths of a second of making it into the finals, but finished 12th overall. And so it was a great, uh, great race for her. It was exciting for AC. She ran really well, but uh, the others, they just, they competed well. Everybody seemed to step up. It was good experience. Uh, for our athletes, uh, especially for our 4x4 team. We were hoping to make it into the finals, but um, they, they just missed it. But all but three of them will be back next year, so uh, they're, they're going to be a little bit more hungry to, to step up and, and make it in the finals and hopefully get one of those All-American spots next year. All right, looking at the season as a whole, you guys, uh, I know you're always building towards the end, and you guys had some nice finishes at the GSAC Championships, too. No, what did you see from uh, your, your track and field team through the indoor season and, and through the end of the outdoor season? Well, we just continued to see um, improvements. I mean, the athletes just continued to, to make some great progress, making some strong leaps. I mean, you, especially when you compare last year to this year. I mean, last year we had a total of three All-Americans, and this year we had a total of nine. So that's a, that's a big increase, but, you know, we saw... Three All-Americans in, uh, in the indoor season, and then we ended up getting four in the outdoor. Uh, had things worked out a little bit differently, I, I think we would honestly had um, probably another four or five All-Americans for the outdoor season uh, this year. So it, um, the, the indoor season helped us, you know, definitely, especially with putting on three indoor meets and trying to help out the conference that way. We'd like to try and do that again. Uh, just really thankful for everybody in the conference and how supportive uh, the other coaches are as well. All right, I don't want to talk about two of your senior athletes that you're saying goodbye to, uh, Rocio Palayo and Rick Avila. As you've kind of been building your program, they've been your, your outstanding distance runners, you know, winning races. They've been All-Americans in pretty much every national meet they've entered. You know, what have they meant to your program as you've tried to, to build your own uh, program here? Well, they've really helped set a, a high standard. I mean, two athletes that uh, both of them, I guess you could say, kind of got the triple crown where... Rick and Rocio both were All-Americans in cross country and then repeated that in indoor and then did that again in outdoor season. To, to be an All-American those three times really says a lot to them. I mean, they just they work hard. Um, and they're also very good students. Rocio was like a, a 4.0 student. This uh, semester, Rick was a 3.5 student GPA-wise, so really proud of them. I mean, they really um, have stepped up and, and set some good examples and good standards. The, the thing that's unfortunate with Rick is, you know, he is done with cross country. However, we still have him for another indoor and outdoor season, which we're grateful for that and looking forward to hopefully seeing him continue to improve. All right. And as you enter your third season, you know, trying to add more of your athletes and, and shape more of your program, you know, what are you looking forward to uh, heading into next year? Well, hopefully we'll just continue to make progress, you know, and, and become more and more competitive within our conference and, and nationwide as well. That's really one of our goals. But uh to continue to make it a, a fun, respectable program where our athletes are, are really doing a good job of contributing to the community here on campus and, and hopefully beyond as well. All right, well, the, the Concordia program is definitely becoming more noticeable on the national stage, more All-Americans, more top finishes. So congratulations, Coach, on a, on a great year, and we'll look forward to uh, continuing to build uh, into next year. Great, thank you.